This is an implicit default, and that is what was at stake during the negotiations. They were about getting the banks to agree to increase their contribution. Thanks to this voluntary contribution, Europe has avoided a Greek default. That is Greece solemnly declaring its bankruptcy. So that's not the current scenario. What we have is an agreement between Eurozone countries, Greece and the banks. The countries which will contribute are China and Russia, and Japan also said it was ready to take part in good time by bringing in funds through the EFSF. So for those countries, this is a way of investing in one unique vehicle, a financial vehicle common to all Eurozone members, instead of buying individual bonds. The success of this plan will depend on the reaction of the markets, and this reaction won't just take place today. We're talking about reactions in the medium and long term. So why will it depend on their reaction? Because it will depend on the interest rates that these countries have to pay, the countries hit by the crisis, and who have large amounts of debt.